Hello, everybody. It is Badger Wild back again with another Space Engineers tips video. Uh, normally, I show you guys some tutorial stuff. Today, I'm going to show you guys a tip that even beginners can use. If you are a first time player of the game, you've just picked up Space Engineers. This is an effective thing you should know. And it's something I didn't know up until about a couple months ago and has really improved my build speed. Many of y'all have watched other YouTubers and they build insanely fast. They're pulling up stuff with massive repertoires of components and they're just throwing the components, it seems like, right into it and moving at blinding speed, building stuff at a pace. And that most of y'all are at, at home saying, oh, I don't know how they're building at that speed. I wish I could get that good. Never fear, I have the solution to that. I found this out from a person who was following me on Twitch. And yes, I do run a Twitch channel. I'll put a link in the description. Anytime between 10 Central and 12 Central US time, because I live in the state of Missouri, uh, you guys can hop on and you can watch me build something interesting or do stuff. One of the things that I'm doing on this, I am on this stream, I am attempting to build a Morgan class light destroyer. We're in the process of doing that. And I finally broken down and got a mod to finish this thing because building it by hand has been a nightmare. But let's go over here for a moment. I'm gonna hit tab. And let's say we wanna build one of these. Now this is a large cargo container. With the interior plates, we have about 300 interior plates and we do not have the space to hold over 300 interior plates in our space. So we have got to come up with a way to build this thing quickly. And I'm also going to build this as if Chris were here. So if we're building something, normally I'm the guy that figures out where everything goes. I start putting down the plans and then Chris will be the guy that runs in there with just pure power and just welds everything up as I'm placing stuff down. So I'll show you how to do this and also how to just throw components into this because you don't need the components in your inventory. You can actually store your components in the project that you're building and makes things go a lot faster. Let's say though we want to build this large industrial cargo container and I want to put it, you know, right there so that I can, you know, build it and I'll have this extra cargo space and I can just expand the cargo. Normally I would go into, let's say the menu here and I go into my deal. And this is what most people do in the beginning of the game. They start looking for components and they'll Grab their components, I'll throw it in. Well, look at that. We only carry 225 components. That's not going to help us. We're going to make multiple trips trying to work on this thing. Instead of doing that, go into your build menu. Okay? Select our cargo containers. And this is the cargo container I want to build. This large industrial cargo container. Grab this one. And this little plus sign right here where my cursor is at. Click this. Now, what's happened is I have added the plans for this component right here or this block in game. Now, we're doing this in survival, so I have to be quick. But you can see all of the components here are listed, so I know exactly what I need to get. But I don't have to look at this list ever again. I simply hop out of here, select a connector port that I can access, and click the middle mouse button. Now, watch the inventory right above the toolbar. When I click three, two, one, Suddenly I'm full. It also gives me a thing, cannot withdraw 75 interior plates. That's impressive. Now, simply go over to where this connector is at, lock on, set down the new build. Now watch how I do this quickly. I'm gonna light the torch just enough to get a light out of it. Watch the components requirement list down here. So I've now put 225 components in, for our 225 interior plates into this new block. So I don't have to worry about this anymore. Go back. The build Now, with the build planner, it allows me to pull the exact amount of materials out for whatever block I'm building to the exact number. So if I have the components and I know I've got them, I don't have to clutter my inventory with a bunch of different components. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab here, fill up, head back over, one run. Back again, and you'll watch... As I do this, the components are filled up. Now, this is built. This is done. All the components I need to build this are inside of this block. All I need is somebody coming to weld, and that's where Chris would come in. Chris would then come in behind me, and all he has to do is just stick the welder to it and weld it all up. And there is your cargo container. This normally takes 
10, 20 minutes for some people and used to take me 10, 20 minutes as well. But now I've got this done in, in, in a matter of seconds. And also I'm taking time explaining this to you guys. So yes, as the lighting, as the, the sun refuses to operate with the lighting, uh, you can see how this just goes much faster. It works with any component. As I said, you just hop into your build menu and select something you wanna build, any component, any type. And the cool part about the build planner is say I wanna build a set of conveyor junctions right here. I can just add up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, conjunct eight different things that I want to build on my build planner. So if I decide, you know, hey, I want to put in uh, this component or that component, you just fill up what it is you're going to build, set the components down for, for all the piping and everything you want to run, and then you can just run these pipes and then it's just a matter and you can store your components inside of the build. It's like running a job site. When you bring your components in, you set them onto your... Um, onto your build site, you set them aside where it's gonna go, whether it be concrete, wood, metal, whatever. And you set that stuff aside so that, and you put it where it's gonna to need to be so that guys can, your workers can just grab it and put it on there. So if you're the guy that builds and plans everything out, you can literally just grab the components you need, shove them over and just quickly throw some stuff into the componentry area and you can run off and add another one. So while I'm doing this here, I could add another cargo container right here next to the one that Chris is welding up and start throwing stuff back into it. Or he can bring in an industrial welder like the, the big tarantula over there. And he could take the tarantula and weld this up with the tarantula after I've put all the components into it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that little video here. Giving you a nice little uh, example in how to you know, build much faster than normal. Hope this accelerates your building and helps y'all with your experience in Space Engineers and makes the game a little more fun and not as grindy. Anyway, folks, I am Badger Wild. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, stay safe. I'll see you guys next time. This is Badger Wild, signing off.